my role as a CEO has obviously changed a bit since uh, I was the CEO to a CEO. Uh, what we, the difference is that we have uh, got to the table are the thinking process. So we were thinking uh, strategic in any case, I think, but the science that we put together, the analytics that we put together has increased many fold in the last couple of years. In terms of, you know, the integration that we see which is happening across offline and offline has increased considerably, which enables our planners to actually do a lot more integrated planning. So we always were an integrated structure. Now we have been training the teams to do a lot more integrated you know, offline and online. And uh, of course the outcome has been awards and I think awards has been great as usual. It's gone worse for our industry. I, I'm not. I'm not seeing work-life balance uh, improving uh, any time now. And let me say, it's not just for the women. It's for the men too. So if you see Sashi and me as our life, or you know, different, uh, uh, both men and women, I think we are working any uh, from 12 to 18 hours, which is really, really long uh, hours. Uh, um, I think for women it's even worse, but at least men have stayed in the workforce despite these 12 or 18 hours. They have been dropped out. I think a lot of uh, women have just dropped out. And if you see the statistics uh, in uh, even media, so while media may have a certain set of women, and my belief is there are more women because 20 years back when we started work, media was not seen as the you know hot and happening place to be in. Now, after 20 years, because of the change in dynamics, it has become hot and happening. So by default, women have been there. But if you also see the uh, statistically, the number of women who are married and have kids and have stayed in the uh, and stayed married and stayed in the workforce are really, really few and far between. And um, while I've, I've been, you know, I'm one of the examples of you know, being married, got kids, stayed in the workforce. I know it's not easy. And I think uh, we owe it to everybody who's of, uh, you know, who are working to try seeing how to making it difficult. So I be now pushing, uh, you know, my organization, my teams to do a couple of things, which I'm not sure whether it's okay at the global stage, but I'm in any case trying to push. So for example, I'm trying to figure out a common time. And say 11 to 4 is your common time. The rest of the time you can either take 2-3 hours before that, 2-3 hours after that, choice is yours. Uh, I'm, I'm almost making it okay to say after 7 o'clock, put on your mail saying, I've gone home and I'll be back in the office tomorrow morning. Because what happens is a lot of people correspond even at 7 and 8 and 9 in the night and they expect a reply. And that's not fair. I mean, you, you, you must appreciate if you expect dedicated people at work, they should be dedicated to their families in the, uh, you know, when they go home. It's not just a, a different location and you have to start continue working. And we will just burn out our people because anyone who works 18 hours is going to be burnt out. And, uh, you know, they're going to fall... Uh, they're going to get out of the workforce much earlier than which is why you see a lot of people saying by 40 or 50 oh I'm tired I'm going to get out I don't want to do this anymore so if we want people to be in the workforce we have to make it easier and we have to learn now that to deal with technology and connectivity in a manner which is uh, okay so you know if I as a CEO make it acceptable to say to everyone and reply back to saying it's 7 o'clock and I'm at home I guess people slowly will start understanding that next 12 hours somebody is not at work. So, you know, I think we just owe it to ourselves, owe it to uh, the teams and owe it to our families and for, you know, health of people. I mean, you hear so many stories of somebody falling, you know, getting in a heart attack at the age of 20 and 30 and 40. It's really scary. So if the position that I'm in, if I'm not going to be able to drive that bit of change, I mean, you know, I'm not doing a good job and I will definitely uh, work hard to keep
and push people to changing their methods also i think it's important to understand that you know when we are talking of women in the workforce and to you know diversity inclusion diversity to me is a critical word and i'm not looking at women becoming clones of men and you know most of the time when women are considered uh, the reaction is oh i have to work as hard as you know or i have to stay i can't take a family call i can't do things so i don't see ourselves becoming clones of men i think we have to just realize we are equal but we are different and you have to be able to manage for what you know for men and women and not become clones of each other so you know you know it's acceptable to say that you know you at home you're taking calls of the office right so women who are so afraid to turn on and say oh i can't take a call of home because it will look bad i'm saying it's okay you're taking calls in the office calls at home it's okay to take ones if there's some emergency in your house please don't think that i have to show that i don't have a family you know and yeah i've seen women literally afraid to take their kids call because they will he, she won't be seen as professional and i don't see why because it's okay you know you need to do there's a family that exists if the family is not happy and uh, cheerful and you're not taking care of it anyway i'm going to lose you so you know we, we need to change some part of our perspectives i don't think to me a high point is anything to do with uh, necessarily business or awards or wins or anything i think the high point is i've had fun i've uh, enjoyed myself uh, i like coming into the office uh, i like the people and we are friends more than anything else and uh, to me that's a big high point uh, of course the projection of india to the global world and uh, india is uh, clearly seen as one of the best operations in the um system in the fcb system in the ipg system whichever system you see i think there is uh, uh we are clearly seen as a top 3 uh you know organizations among all the um or lot or fcb or whatever so that's a matter of pride to me that uh, we acknowledge as the best